Hold on. Hi, Terry here, Jetmac. Quick video just to explain these two machines um, we we'll have here. These are the new belt driven enter pump machines. Uh, everybody's heard of enter pump. Well, anybody in the pressure washer world uh, has heard of enter pump, a very well known brand. So let's just take a quick, quick, quick walk around and explain this setup. These both belt driven. We'll, we'll go more into that in a minute. The difference between belt driven and we've heard about reduction gearbox and people say direct drive. There's all the different setups that you can get. So here we go. So two machines, exactly the same trolleys, exactly the same pumps, exactly the same setup. Okay, just this one incorporates a Honda GX390 engine, and this one incorporates a Lunkin. It's actually a 14 horsepower engine. Okay, so a lot of people when buying a pressure washer, they think Honda, yes Honda, and, and the focus, in my opinion, they focus too much on the engine, whereas they should focus more on the pump, because. Number one is the pump that does all the work. Uh, it's the pump later on in life that usually gives the problems and has the, you know, the parts that work easily and seals and stuff that need change. So, in buying a pressure washer, we need to buy a setup whereby the pump is getting the least wear and tear, especially if you're planning to use it a lot every day. Guys doing driveways, roof cleaning, you know, people that are using it industrially. It's different for the man that's pulling it out to clean his patio every springtime and putting it away again. You know, that doesn't really matter. So. Let's explain here. I've taken a belt guard off this one here just to show you uh, the setup. So in this setup here, basically we'll have two pulleys, big pulley, wee pulley, and a belt. So the belt drives the pump. Uh, the shaft of the engine here, I'll just show you what the shaft of the engine looks like. This is just for illustration purposes. This is the shaft of the engine here, okay? When the shaft of the engine is going, You can see the shaft of the engine there is going pretty fast. Well, flat out that shaft is going at 3400 RPM. Okay, Let, let's just explain a wee bit more about the different setups because you've probably heard about belt drive and uh, gearbox, reduction gearbox and direct drive. So, it doesn't matter who the pump manufacturer is. For example, this is AR and OV Reverby, which is an Italian company. And this is Interpump. All these companies make different pumps. For example, AR will make a direct drive pump they'll make a belt driven pump and then also do reduction gearbox pump just the same as enter pump will do belt drive pumps they'll do direct drive pumps so it's important to focus when you're buying a pressure washer for a business especially that you're buying the right one to suit your purpose so both these are low speed pumps because the user reduction because as i said earlier the shaft spinning at 3400 rpm this one here is what's known as a direct drive the reason why it's direct drive is because this slides directly onto the shaft so it works at the same speed as the shaft okay this incorporates a reduction system so you can imagine when this is spinning at 3400 rpm that's got 28 teeth this has got 56 teeth so this spins at half the speed which means in turn your engine if you can imagine sitting on a bicycle and pedaling this one here the wee guys and this one here the guy is like in fifth gear just pedaling nice and slowly and this pedaling nice and slowly so some people say well what you know i don't know how i'm confused here you know i don't know which one to go for reduction gearbox or belt drive well the good thing about belt the belt system is that the belt absorbs all the vibration if you can imagine that's your pump that's your engine okay you're going to have a lot of heat coming out of the shaft of the engine a lot of vibration as well you can imagine this belt there's going to be no heat transfer so there's going to be no heat transfer into the pump all the burns in the pump there's going to be less less vibration because there's no vibration coming through the belt either but if you can imagine this system which is a reduction gearbox which is what's in here okay you have a burn you have the cog on cog, so the heat's transferring, you've all the vibration transferring, plus you've got metal on metal. The little key in the shaft is getting worn. Every time you pull the trigger in on the gun, there's a certain amount of snatch, which wears the inside of this female shaft. But on this, it acts like a shock absorber. So, let's show you the new 
belt drive inter pump pressure washers from Jetmac. We'll start off with the Honda GX390. These are 21 litre machines. You have the choice, you can have 15 litre machines, 21 litre machines. Uh, we'll go into that later. Let's just start it up. We'll do a pressure, pressure, uh, pressure check with the pressure gauge here and just to show you that it's doing the pressure that we claim it's doing. Okay, so we'll start off with the Honda. Okay, so that's the genuine Honda GX390 engine. Good engine. Lonkin engine over here beside it. We'll test it now. We would sell probably a lot more of the Lonkin engines than the uh, Honda engines. A lot of people like, it's obviously quite, quite a bit cheaper. But it's just as reliable. We find it starts as easy. So we've taken the bell guard off this just to show you the working. So if you can focus, if you can focus here on the belt and the pulleys and you can imagine what was mentioned earlier about the reduction gearbox and the, the metal on metal. So you can see here there's no, there's, go, there's going to be no vibration travel to the pump from, from the engine. And there's going to be no heat as well because it's all going to be lost, dissipated through this belt. Okay, so let's start it up. See the Lonkin started first pull. In actual fact, the Honda took about four pulls, but anyway, it might have been just potluck. But anyway, no, usually the Lonkin starts starts fine. Both on hardened galvanized trolleys, 13 inch wheels, uh, a very robust machine indeed. Uh, you can get all the further details of spec and contents on our website www.jetmac.co.uk. Thanks for listening, or you can call us 077 344. 38319 all the details will be bottom of this well you you probably on our video or probably on our website watching this video but also you might be on ebay but you, you you'll be able to find us anywhere if you if you try and so if you have any questions just give us a shout thanks okay bye